Hi guys, this is Sabina Mirage. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally giving you what you want. And that's the drama with Van Cleef. I don't remember how many of you requested this video, but I remember getting tired replying and promising to film this video. So guys, you're in for a treat. So get yourself some wine or a snack because it's about to get heated. Let's go. I filmed a video called uh, Van Cleef Sold Me Broken Earrings Twice and they were malfunctioning. Those were vintage Alhambra earrings in White Mother of Pearl. They were my very first pair of earrings from Van Cleef and I got my tan motif in White Mother of Pearl and I really wanted the earrings to match. Yeah, I just have a love-hate relationship with their earrings because like Cartier for example, they don't do or maybe they do correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they do earrings with posts that can be removed, not in my experience. So the post is attached permanently into the earring and you cannot remove it, so it never becomes loose. And gold is soft, so once it becomes loose once and you tighten it, it will become, it will keep becoming loose over time. So until you send your earrings out for repairs, there is no solving that. And I did not have this issue with my Onyx Vintage Alhambra earrings. I started having that issue a year after I had them, so I did attach the post permanent. I sent them out too. I think it depends on the batch because they sold me one earrings, they tried to fix it, they replaced them, and the same issue started happening right away. So when the replacement pair started having the same issue, I brought them to Bellagio in Vegas and I gave them for repairs there because I know they use local jeweler, so it usually takes way less time. Like for example, to resize my bracelet, it usually takes 24 hours. But there was another issue with those replacement earrings. Every time I took something off over my head, one of the earrings would open and would just hit the floor. So the tight, so it wasn't tight when it grabbed onto your ear. So it was one was looser, it was way easier to open. So I was very worried that it was gonna crack uh, the mother of pearl. So I addressed that issue and I said that I want one of the earrings to be tighter, tightened around my earlobe. Uh, so it doesn't open as easily. But I did not supervise and micromanage the amount of details they put in on the paper when they sent my earrings out. So when they brought my earrings to the jeweler, they told me that I would need to wait for about two weeks because somebody got sick and they were closed for like a week or two. So I got my earrings back six weeks after I left them. And I was in LA, of course, and I was very excited to open the package. And when I did, I realized that one of the earrings is not tightened, the one that was supposed to be tightened. And that was weird, but the posts were securely in. I didn't feel any motion, so I assumed they were permanently attached. So that was good news. And I was just, I didn't care anymore. I was so happy to see them. I, ha I was so happy to have them back that I didn't care. I just wore them. And then at some point, I saw a little wear and tear on my Grey Mother of Pearl necklace in rose gold. So I wanted to see the Mother of Pearl in the earrings up close, so I took the magnifying glass. <laughs> and that's when it gets interesting. Because, and this is only my assumption, and I looked at the pearls with a magnifying glass before, and they were fine. But on the earring that was supposed to be tightened around the, you know, um, earlobe, the pearl was cracked. So they tightened the pearl in. They took those little ridges holding the pearl in and jammed them deeper into the pearl. And if you know, pearls and mother of pearl have the same molecular structure and it's kind of layered. So when it chips, it chips like at the surface level and then it doesn't, like, unless you like, crack it, it doesn't go deep, but you can chip and flake layers off of it. So there were layers missing and I thought it was dirt. So I cleaned it with my jewelry toothbrush and a little bit of water, but like not to obviously wet it. So I just got in there because I felt like, well, maybe the jeweler had dirty hands or whatnot, but no, those were cracks and those were reflecting light differently. So when you flake, you chip a piece of pearl, then it will have a different kind of shade, hue underneath, and it's gonna reflect light uh, differently. So the pearl 
So one of the earrings was cracked, but you could only see it with a magnifying glass because it kind of looked like mm, maybe it's just slightly dirty, but or it's like a shade, but no. So then I decided to just sell those earrings. I was so done. I just had like this bad feeling, bad taste in my mouth. I felt like, well, first pair did not work out. Then they replaced it. Then they ruined it for me. And I just, I just don't have luck with white mother of pearl. So I'm going to sell them. But then I thought that what if I want my mother of pearl earrings back at some point in the future? And these already have posts attached. So if I buy, if I sell these and buy another pair, I would need to send them out. And where is the guarantee that they're not going to ruin? And one of the pearls lost its luster, but I'm not even, I'm not even talking about that because that is minor compared to what they really did with the pearl. So, so I decided to go to Rodell Drive Boutique and ask them to replace the pearls. First, I spoke to the manager because my essay wasn't there and everybody else was busy. And she paired me with the repair specialist. So there is a girl who deals with all of the repairs. So I explained to her what happened and they gave me a piece of paper to sign that if they investigate this further and they do not prove there is no evidence that Bellagio store jeweler, local jeweler did this, then I would be responsible for paying um, for the pearls. And I was totally fine with that because it was like two to three hundred dollars per pearl. I don't remember exactly. But if I were to sell these and give a huge discount because of the condition they're in and then put that money towards a new pair, I would lose way more than that, like four or six hundred dollars. I don't remember exactly how much it was like truly don't remember. OK, so I signed a piece of paper. They sent the earrings out and I was supposed to get an update. I texted the girl and she gave me the update. She said that they're at the um, workshop. They're going to be inspected. Um, they call it quality check, I think, quality checked. And they're gonna get back to the Rodeo Drive boutique. And I didn't understand that at all, but I felt like, okay, that's their protocol. If that's what they are supposed to do, if that's the procedure, and those are the necessary steps they have to take, fine. I'll just wait patiently because I knew my earrings were going to be fixed and perfect and two pearls are going to be replaced because they replaced two, so they match. And while I waited for them to get back, I wore my black onyx earrings and that's when the post started unscrewing because I wore those way less. So when they were put to the test, they did not pass right? <laughs> so I decided to go again to their Dow Drive boutique and just leave them there uh, so they would attach the post. And she said because they're over a year old, they had to send it to their warehouse in New York. So apparently there are rules. If the piece is less than a year old, they will send it to, for some repairs, they will send it to local jewelers. But if it's over a year old, they must send it to their uh, workshop for like quality check and the work to be done there. So Bellagio Boutique did not do their due diligence. They did not follow the rules and they sent it to the local jeweler. So they pretty much do whatever they want there. It's like very unprofessional from what I heard, from what I was told at the Rodeo Drive Boutique. And they told me that they addressed this with the manager. They did the investigation. So they said that there was nothing on the record saying that they tightened the pearl in. There were no notes from the local jeweler. So they're supposed to write down every single step, everything they did to the earrings, but there was nothing. So pretty much I was the one to blame. And they told me that uh, you're going to have to pay. And I already signed the waiver that I'm going to pay. They're like, you're going to have to pay because um, there's nowhere, it doesn't say anywhere, that they tightened this uh, mother of pearl in. And I don't understand how, if it's so disorganized and they did not follow the rules and they sent it to the local jeweler, they still found a way to blame me. So while they were doing this investigation that I told you about, they already got my black earrings at the workshop, they attached the posts for those and they shipped them back. So I, messaged, uh, so I messaged the girl and I asked her about my black earrings because I literally had nothing to wear. I was afraid to use my rose gold, hammered rose gold, because I was just afraid to use my hammered rose gold because I didn't want to go through this again. I just wanted to get my earrings back. So I just wore my like little capers, I call them. So, 
so she says your earrings are back in and I asked her white or black and she says both I got so excited I could uh, guys I ran I was at their boutique in like 15 minutes so she says that the white one was not repaired because when they uh, did the quality check, they deemed them to be perfect and up to their standard. And they gave me my black earrings without cleaning them. So I asked her to clean my black earrings so I can wear them. Finally, I can have something in my ears that looks presentable. So she went and she cleaned the black earrings and I refused to accept the white earrings because I said, L listen, because I said that there are issues they need to replace the pearls because I'm paying for them anyway and she said okay I totally understand I don't know why they sent them back um, so I'm sending them back to the workshop so she did and they were deemed perfect they were sent back to the Rodeo Drive boutique I was contacted and I was told they're perfect they're totally up to our standard there's nothing wrong with the pearls and the warehouse is refusing to replace them and at that point, I'm like, okay, what? Like, what is going on? If I'm paying for them, I signed the documents, I am promised something, and I'm expecting my earrings, and I know that there are things wrong with them, and I told them to look at them under a magnifying glass millions of times, well, maybe 10 times. And she said, yes, I understand. Let me talk to the manager, and let me send them back to the warehouse. So she ships them for the third time. And guess what happens? They ship them back. And at that point, they don't tell me anything. <laughs> because they just know what I expect and they know that I'm right. Like at the boutique, the girl who deals with the repairs, she doesn't see any issue. This is my pearl. I see issues with the pearl. I want to replace it. I want to pay money for it. So I don't care if you're blind or an idiot, ignorant pig, doesn't want to work. I don't care. You need to do your... I just... I was livid. Like, guys, like, I know I'm being rude, but it was so frustrating. I did not want to get into this video. I did not want to film. I wanted to drag this out for as long as I could because this is just really strange. Here they are. <sighs> I have them back. Yay! But the fourth time, they don't tell me, and they send them back. So she doesn't tell me, she goes to the manager and she tells the manager that they keep sending them back and at, and at that point it's just, she can't even come to me and talk to me about that. And the manager asked her, is she paying, the repair manager, like the main manager, I think at the uh, workshop or in New York, and uh, the manager asked her if the client is paying for the pearls and she said yes. The client already signed everything, she's willing to pay for for everything. So the manager says, I don't see the problem, what are they doing? And by that time, I already found out that they shipped them back for the fourth time to the boutique and they're calling me crazy, they're calling me completely delusional, well, you know, uh, figuratively. So when I find out, I decide to write an email and I decided to like put the attention, the manager, the girl, and uh, address what the issues are, where they are, and just describe everything because maybe they were lacking some details. So I wrote that email, I sent it out, and they sent the earrings back for the fifth time without repairs. They're saying that the... I don't think they even are checking them at that point because they're like, oh, this is... This is a crazy client, we just need to send it back. And it was like a joke to them or something because it was so frustrating to me. I was just so worried. And I know they're not expensive earrings for Van Cleef, but it's all about customer care. It's not about the price. They mean a lot to me. That's why I decided to go to such lengths to repair them, to make them perfect for me because I love them. And the customer care let me down every step of the way, saying that I am imagining things, they don't exist, the earrings are perfect, and that whatever I write is not deserving of their attention to take the loop and look under a magnifying glass at the pearls. But the girl who's dealing with the workshop followed the email and filmed, like on, with her phone, every angle and filmed what I addressed. And I said, I do not want to tighten anything in the back. I just did, I didn't want to tighten the clasp. I wanted to leave it 
as is. I just wanted the brand new pearls because I did not want anything to be messed up anymore. So she filmed tons of footage, sent it to them, sent them there for the sixth time, and sixth time was the charm. So they did replace the pearls and they sent them back within a few days they were back. So it took them literally two days. Like it was so, so fast that the amount of waste, I was just so furious because they do second day air shipping, FedEx. So six times back and forth, that's 12 times that package traveled. Second day air with tons of packaging with tons of trees being killed. No, trees are not being killed. What? Cut to make the packaging. Forests are being destroyed. Animals have no place to go. They're dying. They cannot raise their families. It's just, and the pollution, and it's very, very scary and heartbreaking. So for me, that waste, the amount of waste that went, on something that could have been done in one day on someone because of someone who didn't want to do their job who's just sitting there on his lazy her, his or her lazy ass and is just deeming them perfect deeming them up to their standard they were not up to their standard because when the girl filmed the videos there was no way they could back out because they had proof that they were you know uh slacking so she told me that if there is proof of the damage, then I would need to pay. And I honestly expected after all that trouble that they were not gonna charge me. It's not about the money. It's about the way I was treated. I felt like they should have given me uh, a box of chocolates and sent me home and apologized to me. That's what I felt like. But no, they, when I came to pick up my earrings and the earrings were perfect, the pearls were not tight, tightly in so they're rattling and that's fine I don't want them to be tightly in and they are brand new and they're very shiny not like when I got them back from the local jeweler from Bellagio and they hit me with this bill and I told her that hey um, remember you said that if you have proof of the damage that you wouldn't charge me and she said yes of course and I said, well, you told me that you filmed tons of videos and took a lot of photos to send to the workshop so they could actually see the damage. And she's like, oh, I don't have them anymore. I was just very underwhelmed. Of course it's worth it, but the stress was not. And they treated me very unprofessionally saying that you're lying because we tested them we did quality check six times five times and they were deemed to be up to their standard up to van cleef standard um and when i know i'm right there is no going back like i'm not gonna take those earrings home they can stay with you for a year you can figure it out of course i'm gonna miss them but when i know i'm right i'm right and i did not I could not film with my little magnifying glass those videos like she has a different magnifying glass so she could get some footage but then all of a sudden the footage gets lost and I get charged and as you noticed and this is something I realized I think this video is getting too long but you asked for it so I think you noticed that now I'm wearing way less Van Cleef as I used to like I have Cartier necklace uh, Cartier rings, David Yurman pinky ring that I engraved so it looks very different and unique. Then my Trinity ring, then another ring from Cartier. So I just don't have anything, anything Van Cleef on me because I just don't feel like they deserve the prices that all of us pay because it's like I was begging them to fix my earrings. They were like, no, they're fine. Take them, you peasant. And it was just the attitude the way I was treated and yes just get your earrings when you get them with the post that can be removed just get them right away like permanently um what is it called I don't remember the word but like attached and apparently they had a talk with Bellagio boutique on this entire ordeal and they told them that 
based on their policy, they're like they're breaking rules. They're not supposed to repair something with a local jeweler if the item is over a year old. They're supposed to only send it to the um, uh, where workshop in New York, and they like kind of went over the rules again with them and explained everything that happened. But um, yeah, even though I paid for this repair and went through a lot of stress, I'm very happy that I have them back. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.